All right, <clears throat> fastest 15 minutes on social media, fastest 15 minutes on the internet. My name is Judson Powell. All right, so um, I just wanted to um, take a moment out to uh, to talk about falling into apathetic modes again. And when I mean apathetic modes, I mean like, okay, we did great with the election but remember, there are more elections. There are midterm elections. There are elections every year. So I just want to remind everybody. The other thing is the voter suppression movement has not ceased. They have, they have in Georgia, they are making, they're trying to make more laws. And you have to get out and you have to fight them if you live in Georgia. You cannot allow uh, them to put these, these, uh, these new voter suppression rules into effect. Um, a lot of them are probably unconstitutional, but once again, since since um, since Trump got a, a chance to pack the court, uh, the Supreme Court, um, they could pass through the Supreme Court because there's there's no there's nobody watching out for what's going on. So we got to watch. The next thing is we got to keep on registering people and voting, especially in those in those areas like Georgia, uh, where it was close. We got. We have to. We have to continue to organize. We have to continue to fight, and we have to continue to speak out. We can't. We can't just let this stuff just go, because what will happen is they'll regain the Senate in the midterm elections, and then once again we're back at the whole situation uh, where where we have a, a lame duck president. That, and then I'm not talking about lame duck in the sense of of. Uh, of you know not having any power for another term, talk about in the sense of not being able to get any uh, legislation passed, um, and that's a that's an important that's an important thing. Uh, we got to realize that a lot of this legislation and a lot of this stuff that's going through, and it, and it's all racist, and it really should be really it sh and it's discriminatory. It should be unconstitutional. There should be nobody sitting on the Supreme Court uh, that are put on a robe that should approve any of these laws if contested uh, in a legal matter. The next thing is that all of the things that that, uh, that Trump did while he was in office, they got to be overturned. It's going to take time to overturn this stuff. We need to also think about, hey, we need to get into the debate and back into the regulation of what we talked about, um, basically green green living and all that kind of stuff because we pulled out of all of those treaties. So when when those treaties come up, you know we're at this point we're in a dangerous situation, um, and it, because the fight is not over, so we we can't just sit back and relax and think that oh yeah the fight is over the fight is is nowhere near over. As a matter of fact, it's, the fight has just started. And the other thing is we have to do this stuff now while we have the power. Uh, the power of the elders and the ancestors. Y'all y'all keep looking, but every day we keep losing a couple of we keep losing a couple of elders, but we also gotta remember that those elders become ancestors. But we can't we can't uh be dumb about it and you know and take all of these new things. The other thing is um you know and I made videos about moral authority um Malcolm X and Martin Luther King, you know, both spoke on moral authority. They talked about moral authority all the time because, you know, we're, we're not to be out there attacking people, but if people attack us, then we have to fight back. And that's that's the other thing. So don't let all this stuff fool you. Don't don't think that just because, you know, Biden is in there and we were in a little level of comfort. We just have a, a, a history of falling into our comfort zone. That we don't need to fall into our comfort zone, and all of the all of the things that we that we talk about, let's do them, let's do them, do just do it. Stop talking about you know we need to stop talking about things that are not a benefit to us because of course if they don't benefit us then why why are we still talking about them? Why are we why are we making these things a priority and especially in the media, um, you know the me the mainstream media. They want to keep talking about the insurrection at the Capitol, and they want to keep talking about Trump, and they want to keep talking about the election and all that kind of stuff. The election is over, all right? We got the president. The president's been sworn in. 
there there is nothing else you know to that to that story it's a done deal and you know good and well that if that would have been uh, you know Barack Obama uh, they would they would have had him on what cancel he would have been canceled immediately so what we got to do is right now <clears throat> we got to put all of these things on um, on cancel I mean seriously y'all talk about cancel culture well a lot of this stuff needs to be canceled in your mind and in your heart and in your soul because that's just the way it is and you have and we have to start moving forward we have to also realize uh, you know and when we say history you can't live in the past you can only live in the present that's the only time the only appointed time for you is the present that's the only time you can think that you can live and do something and make changes so right now do something make changes and help where you can help that's another thing you have to help where you can help if it's voting if it you know if it's if it's prison reform whatever but we got people's attention now we got people's attention the black lives matter no matter what you think of the movement or whatever you think of the leaders of the movement or whatever you got to understand you have people's attention and then right now you have the world's attention and so why you have the attention of the world um, it's the time to make moves and do things and, and the main thing is everybody needs to keep talking and keep speaking up uh, you know everybody don't have to be conscious everybody don't have to be woke everybody's not gonna is not gonna study um, you know Egyptian Book of the Dead or uh, you know black people invented everything or any of those books they're not gonna you know white folks ain't, ain't reading those books and and a lot of black folks ain't reading those books either you know, or the you know the, the the message to the black man, or books like that. Nobody's reading those books because, uh, you know, nobody white is reading those books because they don't care. And you're never going to get your oppressor, and and you know get this ingrained and instilled in your mind. Your oppressor is never going to free you, and he's never going to give you the ability to be free. Now, here's the other thing: when we start looking at the media. And as a as a as a lifelong media practitioner, you start looking at that media. The thing is, is that they still got us fooled. Why? Because they are the ones that are creating and making our stories. No matter what, and and the stories that that they don't want us to make, then they let out. And then they got a, a small. It's a short list of people um, that they have who do have the ability uh, to make films, and a short list of people. Um, that 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 have the ability to be able to green light those films. Tyler Perry, probably the only one. So let's 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 realize what is really happening in the media. I mean, even even the you know we watched um, you know we watched the Billy Holiday thing the other you know the other night, and I was just thinking how much you know they how how they wanted to. Um, try to over sexualize her um and she was you know even though that might have been part of her character it wasn't it wasn't the character that we wanted shown it was the character the character that we wanted shown was the fact that they were doing her wrong by imprisoning her uh planting drugs on her doing all kinds of stuff just because she was trying to sing a song and the first amendment she should have been protected by the first First Amendment and under the First Amendment, and anybody that came to our aid, they did whatever they could to destroy, and we all know that. And then today I was reading and it was talking about uh, J. Edgar Hoover, and we all know that J. Edgar Hoover had what had black blood in him. So the the, the old adage that they'll they'll get one of us, you know, to turn in one of us to to do all the you know do all the dirty work to one of us. And this woman died early because her her purpose and her her passion and everything was discouraged by the entire government. And people loved her. You know, people loved her and still love her to this day. Um, so, you know, because, I mean, back in the day, my daddy, my daddy played, you know, Strange Fruit for me. And, you know, he got me in the car one day and plugged it into the stereo and I was listening and, and he was like, you know, this is about them lynching and killing black folks. And it's still true to this day, y'all. You know, these these lynchings and killings have not stopped. You know, the today they passed a they passed a law uh with George with George Floyd's name on it 
but yet and still, he's still, you know, look, one of the favorite things we used to say in law school is what? A restraining order don't stop somebody from shooting a gun. I could put it, I could give you a thousand restraining orders, I give you a thousand laws, a thousand things, but unless people are morally, and that's why I wanted to get back, unless people are morally attached to it and people are going to follow it, then what difference does it make? It, it, it makes no difference at all. Or if they don't care, you know, we still got we still got black people being uh, abused by the police. We still got black people, um, you know, being being denied opportunities because they are black. And we got all this stuff going on out there. Um, and, and unless and like I said, you know, and I, I've talked about this before, unless unless they have a job that they have to do for the majority population, uh, that's how that's how you get rich in this society. You know, and, and we, but all we do, the only thing we do is we look at the, the money, we look at the guns, we look at the girls, we look at the drugs, and we look at the cars. Those are the only things that black people admire. That, those are the only things that black people admire. Look, the, the formula for making, for making music videos and all that kind of stuff has been the same for years. And the reason why you watch your favorite artist is not because your favorite artist is the greatest creator of, of art in the world. You 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 look at the things because, especially now, y'all looking at the these guys. Trap the trap house is famous. Trap music, all that stuff, all that mumble mumble rap, and all that stuff is is famous. Is you know these guys are making these guys are making hundreds of millions of dollars. But. You know, and then and then we can we can also go into the you know I saw I also saw something go across my news feed talking about when is Nick Cannon going to come back to the mass Singer? Because what he 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 bowed down, he kissed the ring, he did what y'all what the, he did what he was asked to do, he bowed down, and he kissed the ring. So when y'all gonna give him his show back? You know the same thing with with all this stuff with, with Wild and Out. They need him. They need him because he could. He's the Pied Piper. He can draw y'all in. He can draw y'all in, and don't don't get it twisted. You know, Viacom, Fox Entertainment, all these people—they're out there. They're doing what they got to do. Why? In order to keep you subdued and keep you from not thinking. The the main the the most dangerous thing is a is a black person with an open mind and a mind that that's not that's not clouded by what's going on. And no matter what they, no matter what you say, they are still creating and making our stories. They're telling our stories, and they're the ones that are getting paid. All y'all folks that be following around, and y'all can hate me all you want, but y'all be following around Black Panther and and all that stuff, and and Chadwick Boseman. Yeah, he was a great guy, but they used him. They used him to what to attract y'all, to get y'all into the into the mix. Black Panther. Is not is not you know, it, that's not a real that's not real, that's fake, that's that that was made up you know that's made up that's a story that was made up. To to, to make you excited and to make you excitable and wanna and wanna seek that out, and not seek out the reality, of what's really going on, on the continent and on the diaspora, you're not you're not really looking at what's really going on. You're not thinking about, oh, this is the prime opportunity for you to go back to Africa and seize up assets and seize up land and see and, and start corporations and companies and LLCs and all of that. Because that's truly our land. In fact, this is truly our land. If you really want to know, but you've got to think about it from a different perspective and a different standpoint. Y'all just y everybody's everybody's happy with just you know, a million followers on Instagram, you're happy with that, but you're not happy with the fact that somebody is manipulating those millions of followers that you have in order to do the work of enslaving your people. You're not, you're not ready, but you got to get ready. Why? Because the ancestors are calling us. They're telling us it's time. It's our time. All power to the people. All power to the people. God bless y'all. 
Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Fast 15 minutes is up. My name is Judson Powell. I love you.